By the time you see this, the debate probably has already happened. We predict how Trump is going to behave, nice or aggressive, and how Joe Biden is going to react. Check us out. All right, it's prognostication time, Will Johnson. We've got a debate, Trump versus Biden. I watched a show last night on Fox where they were talking about which Trump should show up. The regular Trump, who's loud, who's aggressive, calls the other guy names, talks over the other guy, or the quiet, presidential, respectful, and civil Donald Trump to let Joe Biden talk because in the words of a number of people on Fox, the more Biden talks, the better for Trump. <laughs> if you were an advisor to Donald Trump, by the time this airs, we will know, what would you do? Would you tell him to be civil and nice and quiet and respectful and not talk over Joe Biden and interrupt him and call him names or be normal, which is loud, aggressive and name calling? I want an alpha male to show up. I want an alpha male to show up. Now, President Trump, I, I, you know, I've said this before, too. I think President Trump should go. And when he's asked a question, not probably not on all of them. OK, because we're talking about 90 minutes of this debate, but maybe on a few of them until Joe Biden catches on, until the moderators catch on, because it's Joe is is President Trump versus Dana Bash, Jake Tapper and Joe Biden. Oh yeah, right? and, and it's him versus knows them three. It's 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 three against one. We know actually that. it's four against one. It's four against one. Whoever's controlling President Trump's microphone, because they're going to be muting his microphone too, right? So it's four against one. But I would do this: answer the question really short, sweet, to the point, and say I give the remainder of my time to Joe. <laughs> That's the one possibility. Go ahead, Joe, have it. Because see, if Joe can't have any cards, he can't call on anyone. Like based on his nose, he what won't about, be able what to, about, to. What about that thing in his ear, Will? You know, I think there's not supposed to be any bugs in your ears. No, no, no ear, no ear pieces, right? There is no no teleprompter for him to refer to. And you remember during the state of the confusion, he was still fighting with the teleprompter then. So no matter what allegedly, possibly drugs that they put into his system, Joe Biden is going to struggle. 90 minutes of this, he's going to struggle. But President Trump needs to bring up, remember the last time we had this debate and Joe Biden and I were on stage together and the, the whole Russia, Russia, Russia came up with the Hunter Biden laptop. The entire network said that it was Russian propaganda. Are you willing to right now apologize to me and the American people? Because what you did during that time was election interference. I suspect that you won't do it again, but I could be wrong. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, but they're probably going to, they're going to defend Joe and Barry. Who's to say that they haven't already given Joe the questions. Remember Dana. Oh, well, and hold, 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 hold it. It happened when Hillary Clinton was in the debate. Donna because, Brazil. Um, what's Donna Brazil. Donna Brazil gave her the yep. questions and admitted yep. it. And it caused her to be fired from the DNC over it. Yep. How do we, I mean, why would we for a second think that they did not give Joe Biden the answer, the questions already, the questions and the answer? How, what makes them think? I mean, who would think that they did not give this to him already? What is he practicing? They said it was a report that he was practicing standing up for 90 minutes. Come with, on. With, with, with 12 coaches, 12. <laughs> Come on. I, 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 are they are they standing them up coaches or are they what you should say coaches <laughs> or both? And and the big question today is, there, is there going to be a drug test? I, I, I know the answer will be no. No, they're not going to. I mean, because <laughs> if that's the case, then, you know, then it just goes to show that he's on drugs and he can't do it. Because if he's the same Joe Biden that we saw in the state of confusion other than the Joe Biden that we see on a day-to-day -day basis when him making all of these comments, we're going to know that he's on something. It's going to be, it's going to be obvious. But, but there's an interesting thing when, if it was on Adderall or one of those upper speed things, which I don't really know very much about, he gets angry. He gets yep. loud. He gets yep. very aggressive yep. and, and nonlinear. It's like yep. you're, you've got this massive adrenaline rush and yep. it gets you able to stand up. So he'll make it 90 minutes and and 
he'll be blustery and aggressive. But if you listen closely, it doesn't make any sense. No, it won't and make that's any sense. When he read a prompter. <laughs> yeah, that's when he's fighting with the teleprompter. A hundred percent fighting with it. You know? And really quick, Barry, Dana Bash, her husband. Have you heard about this? Her husband was one of the 51 Joe Biden mentioned in the last debate. Said there was 51 agents that said what he's saying about the Hunter Biden laptop was a lie. Her husband, Dana Bash, one of the moderators, her husband was one of the 51. Would, you can't make it up. Any, oh, God, Trump ought to mention that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I Look, I'm pretty well informed. As you know, I read all day. That's all I do. I didn't know that. That's an extraordinary, <laughs> extraordinary inside piece of data that most Americans are going to go. What exactly? Exactly. That's why they. That's that's why they had to shut down President Trump's campaign advisor when she went on the Communist News Network (CNN) and brought up the fact that Jake Tapper, both both Jake Tapper and Dana Bash, was referring to President Trump as Hitler. They shut it down because they want to make it look like CNN is not biased. They're down the middle. They're just reporting on the news, which is a total lie. Total lie. 